For Longmont Public Media, this is the forecast discussion for Sunday through Wednesday, March 8th through 11th. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth, and this is the story of Longmont's weather with a little more science. Uh, full moon is Tuesday night this week at 100% uh, illumination, with it sun, the moon rising just about when the sun sets and setting just about when the sun rises. It'll be in the sky for 11 hours, almost 12 hours. The big picture for this week all revolves literally around a low sitting off the California coast that is tightening up upper level winds and bringing a jet stream in from the desert southwest. This will bring in moisture with it as well that will finally make it into Colorado. By Sunday noon we have a not a very exciting front draped across the uh, central Rockies drifting our way. A little bit of moisture is making it into areas south of Arizona and southern New Mexico. And then going to Sunday night, the front is pushing down to northeastern part of the state. The moisture is made up into the mountains. You're getting a little bit of lift, a little bit of snow on the higher elevations, and some rain on the plains. So the featured creating all this is this low, as I mentioned before the trough way down in, in the southern Pacific. The overall pattern for the upper level winds is a large ridge over the west. And even with this feature kind of uh, breaking into it, it the overall temperatures are very warm uh, now and through the rest of the week. By Monday morning, even with the low still out there, this moisture stream will push to the east and the front will drift a little bit to the northeast away from the front range, but there'll be still enough instability for some showers into Monday morning. This low is very slow to move away, and by Thursday a.m. it's only drifted from out here in the ocean to the Southern California coast. When it gets this close, we'll get some more moisture back into the state, but still this over arching ridge, this large feature here, is going to keep temperatures far above normal. The snow for the next five days is not very impressive and it's confined to the uh, Rocky Mountains and higher elevations here. Uh, ski resorts and like that are going to be uh, wishing for a little bit more, but uh, at least there will be some snow. But mainly what's going to uh, hit the northeastern plains and Longmont will be just plain old rain. Um, maybe a tenth, twentieth of an inch up to a quarter inch or so in spots. It's, it's just not a lot of water. So the storm that is definitely showing up is occurring is this period of rainfall from Sunday night through Monday morning. Temperatures you can see are remaining completely above freezing day and night all the way through next weekend. What gets harder to forecast is when the precipitation is going to occur later in the week as that low comes in. Upper level lows like that are going to get to meander around. They kind of do what hurricanes do under a ridge and that they, they don't have strong steering winds. So exactly what they're going to do and at what time is very hard to predict. So the models have lots of different opinions. If you kind of squint your eyes, Sorry about that. Squint your eyes. You can see maybe more agreement around Friday for some precipitation and more agreement next Monday for some pre precipitation and temperatures cool down to below freezing the beginning of the week after next. So this is a very warm start to the month. So looking out for this week, we have 60s and by midweek we're back to a 70s. Uh, for highs. we got temperatures remaining in the 40s at night. You're really going to start to smell spring. You're going to have the uh, soil warming up, kind of coming alive. Even if we get cold again and get snow again, this is definitely a taste of spring all week. For more local stories, go to Longmont Observer and more frequent weather updates. There's a weather blog there as well. So again, visit longmontobserver.org. For Longmont Public Media, this is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.